Today, we're going to learn how to evaluate functions. Evaluating a function means replacing the variable in the function. In this case, x with a value from the function's domain and computing for the result. To denote that we are evaluating f at a for some a in the domain of f, we write f of a. Let's begin with example number 1. Given f of x is equal to x minus 2, find the following values. f of 0, f of 3, f of negative 1, f of pi, f of x plus 1, and f of 3x. To evaluate f of 0, the 0 here means the value of x. So we simply substitute 0 into the x in the function x minus 2. So we have 0 minus 2, which is equal to negative 2. The same thing for letter B. To evaluate f of 3, we substitute 3 into the x. So we have 3 minus 2, and that is equal to 1. Similarly, to evaluate f of negative 1, we substitute negative 1 into the x. So we have negative 1 minus 2, which is equal to negative 3. For question letter D, f of pi, our x value here is pi. So substituting pi to the x, we have pi minus 2. And we will leave the answer in terms of pi. Question letter E, we will substitute x plus 1 into the x minus 2. So we have x plus 1 minus 2. And we can simplify this as x minus 1. Question letter f, f of 3x, we are substituting 3x into the x minus 2. So we have 3x minus 2 as the simplest form. Here are the answers to our examples. Now it's your turn to practice some math problems. Play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Now let's go over the answers for problem number 2. Given f of x is equal to 4 over x, find the following values. Letter A f of 1. So this means that our x value is 1. So we have 4 divided by 1, which is equal to 4. Question B, f of 2 means our x value is 2. So we have 4 divided by 2, and that is equal to 2. And for letter C, for f of negative 1, our x value is negative 1. So we have 4 divided by negative 1, and that is equal to negative 4. Question letter D. f of square root of 2. Our x value here is root 2, so that is 4 divided by root 2. To rationalize this expression, we need to multiply both numerator and denominator by root 2, the denominator. So this problem is 4 root 2 divide by root 4, which is the same thing as 2. And to simplify this, we can divide 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and you're just copying the radicand root 2. So the answer is 2 root 2. Question letter E, f of 1 over x. So this means we will substitute 1 over x into our denominator. So we have 4 divided by 1 over x. To simplify this, try to recall how to divide fractions. We can use keep, change, flip. We can keep the numerator 4, we change division to times, and then we flip the denominator. Instead of 1 over x, we will make it x over 1. So the answer is 4 times x, 4x, divided by 1 is still 4x. So the answer to this question is 4x. Question letter F, we need to substitute 2x into the 4 over x. So we have 4 divided by 2x. Simplifying this, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and we have a denominator of x. 
So the answer is 2 over x. Now try these quiz problems. Play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Given f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 3, find the following values. Let's begin with f of 3. For this question, our x value is 3. So substituting x is 3, we have square root of 3 minus 3. And that is the square root of 0, or simply 0. Question b, f of 4. Our x value here is 4. So substituting x is 4, we have the square root of x, which is 4, and we have 4 minus 3. So this is the square root of 1, and the square root of 1, of course, is 1. Question C, f of 12, means our x value is 12. So we have the square root of 12 minus 3, and that is the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Question letter D, f of x minus 3. To simplify this, we substitute x minus 3 into the x minus 3. So we have x minus 3 minus 3. So the answer is the square root of x minus 6, and that's the simplest answer. Question letter E, f of 1 over 1 minus x. So plugging in 1 over 1 minus x, we will have the square root of 1 over 1 minus x minus 3. Simplifying this further, we will get the LCD of the denominator, which is 1 minus x. So now we have 1 minus, we need to multiply 3 by the 1 minus x. Simplifying this further, we will have square root of 1 minus 3 plus 3x all over 1 minus x. Simplifying this further, the numerator is 3x minus 2, and for denominator, we have 1 minus x. Question letter f. f of x squared plus 4x plus 7. So now let's substitute x squared plus 4x plus 7 into our x. So we have the square root of x squared plus 4x plus 7 minus 3. And this is the same thing as the square root of x squared plus 4x plus 4. This is a perfect square trinomial, so we can factor it as x plus 2 to the second power. And the square root of the square of the quantity is simply the x plus 2 itself, but it should be the absolute value. So the answer is the absolute value of x plus 2. Here are the answers. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.